नमस्ते वेलकम टू दिस चैनल केमिस्ट्री मेड इजी बाय डॉक्टर अशोक मोहित टुडे वी विल डिस्कस न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज आयोनिक बॉन्डिंग एंड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स हियर वी विल सी हियर मेनी पॉइंट्स सच एज द इनिशियल थियरीज uh which we have studied earlier like levis concept so that is already discussed but afterwards the cosell's concept <coughs> similarly the other concepts of <coughs> uh the bonding are also discussed here in which we are also going to study some basic information or concepts which we are uh, related to the various uh theories such as <coughs> ionization energy electron affinity and many other concepts are there so we have to discuss all these concepts under this title of ionic bonding so first of all we will see <coughs> that is introduction so <coughs> what is bonding and what is ionic bonding so the bonding is taking place between two atoms of the same or different elements during this process of bonding between the atoms either the two atoms show transfer of electron from one to other or they can share electron pairs between them so there are such many ways of bonding between the atoms and when the process of bonding shows that the electron is transferred from one atom to the other atom then it is called ionic bonding so ionic bonding is the first term ionic bonding so this involves transfer of one atom to the other so it we can show here say atom a is a and there is another atom b so these are the two atoms out of this the atom a is more electro positive whereas this atom b is more electronegative <coughs> these more electro positive atoms are of the elements such as hydrogen and most of the atoms sometimes these are the <coughs> atoms of non metallic atoms but most of them are strongly electro positive the atoms b are the atoms of elements which are strongly electro negative and these are called non metals these are present in the periodic table towards extreme right side and most of the metals are present towards extreme left side of the period and bottom of the period so because of this the strong electro positive nature it has say electron so this electron is say this has electron and it is transferred to atom b so being more electro negative the b has a tendency to gain electron because of more electro negative nature the atom b has a tendency to take up electron from atom a and more electro positive atom a have has tendency to donate its electron and because of such convenient processes towards each other both atoms in attain inert gas configuration and this gives stability to both combining atoms and this process ends with lowering energy 
of the system and during which the energy is given out. So this is <coughs> the ionic bonding. Now <coughs> there are <coughs> definite work. The work is done by in such condition. The work is done by various scientists such as Kusei. Kusei in 1916. So <coughs> according to his concept <coughs> when as we have just, just seen that <coughs> when the electropositive atom, most electropositive atom binds with most electronegative atom, there is transfer of electron from most electropositive atom to the most electronegative atom, thereby formation of a solid. <coughs> so this is the concept of ionic bonding given by Cosi. <coughs> so we can understand this concept using <coughs> some examples such as so for example we can see this Na that is sodium so this sodium has elect atomic number 1 configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 and 3s1 <coughs> and another is fluorine with electrons or atomic number 7 it has configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 so you can count the electrons 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 1 so it gives 11 electrons in atom of sodium and chlorine has 17 electrons 2 plus 2 4 plus 6 10 plus 2, 12 plus 5 17 electrons present around the nucleus in the atom of chlorine so we can have this valence chain this is the valence chain valence chain of atom this is also valence chain of the atom this atom of sodium has valence shell containing only one electron and because of this the sodium is unstable. Similarly chlorine has valence shell containing five electrons in P subshell, two electrons in S subshell. So this two uh, S subshell is full but this three P subshell is still short of one electron. So that is why it is also unstable. So what happens <coughs> if this electron is removed and donated to this chlorine in the valence sheet? So what will happen? The electronic configuration of this sodium will become Na that is plus with atomic number same but the electronic configuration is this 1s2 so up to this we can say any that is new one with 10 and this is 3s1 is becoming 3s0 so that is remaining. then another is chlorine 17 chlorine so it has inner gas configuration also any Ten neon T plus this three S two three P six it becomes three P six and thereby it attains C L minus structure electronic structure becomes C L minus. So this gives us two new species that is one is Na plus and another is C L minus. So these two species after combining with each other gives Na plus and Cl minus in solid state. So in this way we can get NaCl solid that is sodium chloride. So here we find that sodium atom is electropositive strongly so it will donate its electron to chlorine 
whereas chlorine is strongly electronegative, it has charged out one electron, so it will gain one electron from sodium and complete its octet. Octet means two electrons from 3s and six from 3p, makes eight, so that is octet. So this electron is lost, so this becomes vacant, so remaining <coughs> the electron shell is equal to any that is neon that is nearest inner gas. So both atoms thereby attain inner gas configuration. So with this completion of this state, it attains a bond configuration. That is the total electrons becomes 10 plus 2 plus 6 that is 18. So because by this process of ionic bond formation, both atoms may be electropositive or electronegative atoms attain the most stable nearest inner gas configuration and thereby the atoms are stabilized. <coughs> so here we can have such number of examples <coughs> that is we can take calcium where the atoms the atomic number is 20 so that can <coughs> sodium uh, calcium has tendency to lose two electrons from its valence shell and thereby it can attain the nearest inner gas configuration of argon. So it becomes stabilized. So now during this loss of two electrons, the calcium can donate its two electrons to two chlorine atoms. So thereby two chlorine atoms gain one electron each and they can attain also nearest argon configuration that is inner gas configuration. So thereby <coughs> mutual transfer of such electron between strongly electropositive atom and strongly electronegative atom or atoms. Both species atoms are <coughs> undergoing process of ionic bond formation thereby attaining stable inner gas configuration structure, electronic structure is stabilized. <coughs> now here <coughs> The formation of ionic bonding is taking place in several states, but out of this, only we can consider the simplified states. Later on, we will consider the many other states that are present there. So, first is <coughs> state one is say formation of cation. So you will see here sodium after loss of one electron to chlorine forms this Na plus that is a cation. So cation formation takes place in this way. The most electropositive atom uh, of element take, uh, gives up one electron to more electronegative element and attains stable configuration and that species is cation that is monopositive cation. Now second is formation of anion. So you will see here chlorine it has short of only one electron chlorine is most electronegative so it has tendency to gain electron. So what does chlorine do? Chlorine takes up one electron from sodium and thereby form the most stable configuration that is neon plus is 3s to 3p6 and making it equivalent to argon configuration. So attaining this argon configuration gives the stability to chlorine and this is called a formation of anion. So this chlorine is anion. This sodium Na plus is cation. So formation of positively charged species is cation. Formation of negatively charged species is called anion. And the resulting solid is called ionic solid. The resulting solid is called ionic solid. So in this way, number of such ionic solids are formed and it can be explained in the same manner. <clears throat> so we will stop here and we will see the next part of this topic.
in the next lecture so see you next time please keep watching this video share it with your friends press bell icon button and like button and subscribe to this channel thank you very much